If you were writing the story of the 2021 NBA playoffs, would you lead with the insults or the injuries? Ooh, because the last time we and talked, Michael Smith is a poet. The poetry of Michael Smith. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> a little bit. But no, I mean, like, since you and I last talked on Friday, uh, and hope you had a good, a good long weekend. But since you and I last talked on Friday, we have had uh, a fan run onto the court in DC mm -hmm. and be tackled by yep. security. And before that, we had a fan in Boston throw a water bottle at Kyrie Irving. That's just since we last talked. So to recap these playoffs, and we're still in the first round, mind you. To recap these playoffs, there have been five uh, public uh, examples of fans getting out of pocket. Of course, we had the fans spitting on Trey Young, uh, mm -hmm. banned. We had the fan in Philly throw a bag of popcorn at Russell Westbrook, banned. Uh, we had uh, the aforementioned uh, water bottle incident. Um, we had the Nets fan running, excuse me, the, the fan running on a court in D.C., I beg your pardon. And last but certainly not least, we had the Jazz fans in Salt Lake City uh, harassing the parents of, uh, of Ja Morant. Mm -hmm. So to say it's out of control is, uh, is an understatement. Meanwhile, and I'm going to let you, I'm going to let my esteemed author pick the one you want to start with, and we'll, we'll save the other deep dive for later. Meanwhile, Anthony Davis has gone down with a groin injury, not going to play in tonight's pivotal game five. LeBron James is, of course, still nursing his ankle injury. Um, he's brilliant in spurts, but um, not, not to his level. Chris Paul has miraculously healed, but we're not going to you know, pretend like his shoulder injury uh, is, isn't still a factor, right. but he looked great in game four. Joel Embiid had a scary fall. He's supposed to have an MRI today. Luka Doncic can't look left because of his nerve injury um, in this in that series. Uh, Donovan Mitchell's back still may be lim limited. Uh, the Bucks, of course, lost uh, DiVincenzo. Um, am I missing anybody? I mean, it's just no. injuries were a major story during the, <laughs> no. during the NBA well, oh, regular oh, season, given how truncated it was. A small part. And the playoffs have been a no small different. One. Who am I missing? You're missing a, a small one. You know, Kimball Walker of the Celtics, uh, you know, starting point guard out, uh, out of game four, out tonight in game five when the Celtics season comes to an end. I mean, you're, you're right. I would start with the injuries. Da oh, Davis Bertans. Because I think uh, da Davis Bertans in Washington. Davis Bertans. Hurt, another, so yeah. whatever that's Washington worth, I mean. loses another yeah. guy. Yeah. And, and, Brad yeah. and Bradley Beal came in banged up in the first place. You know, he already came into the uh, playoffs. Yeah. Uh, not 100%. And in injuries have so always I'll been a, a footnote. They've, injuries have always been a footnote in the playoffs. We don't we don't really remember it. Like I think we talked about this before. We, we, win, we remember who wins the championship. We don't we rarely remember how history is history's co-author yeah. NBA history's co-author is injuries. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and it, like, it, it, like it is that the, the forward to the NBA history is written by injuries, if you will, because it's, it's something that we don't really bring up in hindsight, but it's always the big what if or what could have been. And I think moving forward, we're looking at what could be depending on these injuries, both short and long term. So which story would you like to die? I mean, I, you know, I, I want to give you either one the insults or the injuries. We want to get into the fan craziness first and say the injuries and on the court stuff later, or you want to do the injuries. Either one. It's your day. Let's go. It's, let's, it's, Mike, it's your book. Mike, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let's go injuries because I think the fans have gotten a lot of attention on this. We've talked about, you know, how unacceptable yeah. it is and uh, fans need to grow up and all that stuff. Let's talk about the games themselves, because this is going to determine, as you said uh, so correctly, this is going to determine the next championship. And that's why I put it there. I'll start not only with injuries, but specifically with tonight's game five between the Lakers and the Suns. That's why I put in the feed. They take the ifs out of it, because I heard that before the playoffs started. Hey, if the Lakers are healthy, uh, nobody can play it. Well, th there's no if. The Lakers are not healthy. They're not going to be healthy. And let's just let's just assume no team is going to well, be healthy well, all the way through. They looked at 
well, relatively speaking, nobody's 100%. Yeah. But they looked it in games two and three. They looked fine. Yes, they did. I mean, you know. They did. I, they, they looked they better did. than fine. They looked like they had returned but, the championship form in games two and three. And sure. it changed just but like that. But let me the use your words. Davis grabbed his groin. Let me use your words as I as I take more feed items. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a feed consumer. You went down uh, late in your feed unless you changed it. But earlier today, you had in your feed something like, hey, it's a series. Note to self, it's a series. So sure, uh, they look great in games two and games, uh, games two and three. Uh, Anthony Davis gets hurt uh, at the end of game three, comes back in game four, gets hurt again in game four. That kind of stuff is going to happen with players who missed weeks at a time with the Los Angeles Lakers. Like, it, it's almost like the pop, the and I, I, I appreciate it. They compound. Yeah, and I appreciate it. Listen, I appreciate um, I'm not going to lie and say I appreciate Anthony Davis that much. I'm coming around. I'm coming around, <laughs> but I really appreciate LeBron James. You know how I feel about LeBron James. You know how I feel about him and his historical greatness and everything that he has done on the court off the court. Uh, I'm a big LeBron James fan. But it's almost as if we talked about LeBron James. Like not only does he have a uh, PhD in basketball, which he does that somehow he picked up an MD along the way. No, no, like, hey, I'm not going against LeBron James. Well, look, LeBron's 36 and he had a major high ankle sprain that he just just because he's the king and because he's the best player in basketball doesn't mean oh the playoffs start. He's going to be able to do something. Hey, never put it past LeBron. Stop. <laughs> like LeBron no, is a man. No, no, who I'm is not. dealing. No, no I'm yeah, not. you should stop. No, okay, I'm you, not. maybe I'm talking no, about I'm you. I'm not because uh, you, you know what you're doing right now. You're the no, person. You know what you're doing right now. You know what you're doing. You I'm talking you're about doing? you. You're doing the same thing. I'm talking about you. And I'll and I'll get people. to why I made a note to self. I'll get to why I made a note to self that it re, it is a series stupid talking about myself. It's a series right. stupid. I'll explain that in a moment. But what you're doing, Alex, okay. maybe I'll just explain it right now. What you're doing is why I made that note to self. You're doing your LeBron ain't right thing because subconsciously or consciously, okay? Let me put you on the couch real quick. Subconsciously oh, or consciously, you are looking for validation for your pre playoffs Phoenix pick, which was I don't, I, they, I, Mike, the Suns are taking Mike. down the Lakers. And, and now you're Let's seeing. Take the you're, Hold on. Michael. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. I'll just time say time? this. I'll just say this. Yeah. As soon as, as soon as I say this last thing, and it'll take less than twenty seconds. You're uh, right. Father time is. Wait for it. Undefeated. There's the first cliche today. Father right. time is undefeated, and he's 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 older, and he had a major injury, the worst of his career, I believe he called it. However, yeah, right. Michael, he hasn't scored thirty since March. He hasn't scored thirty six since March. I'm just trying to prepare you for the very real possibility that tomorrow. We could be talking about another legendary performance because it wasn't that long ago. Sure. He was shooting 35 foot three pointer over Steph Curry to win the playing game. Yeah, Four's yours, right? Okay. All I'm saying is let's take the mystery out of it and I'm gonna give it right back to you. It's gonna take less than 20 seconds. I'm trying to validate this pick. No, 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 no. The pick was made because of what's happening right now. That's the reason I like Phoenix, but if they're healthy, if Phoenix is healthy and the Lakers are healthy. Yes, I'm gonna take the Lakers. But my whole pick was based on the knowledge that they're not going to be healthy throughout the postseason. That that doesn't mean they're going to lose to Phoenix. They can still be Phoenix. I don't think but so. Michael, but they were. They can still be Phoenix. They but they're were. not going to be. No, they this weren't. Is, I think they this weren't. is confirmation bias. They call it. They were. They were healthy for two games. They were. Fi- they, they didn't. Did they look unhealthy that in game two and game three? You can't talk just like, like that. Just like Chris Paul. That doesn't exist. Just like, what do you mean? I'm we healthy, healthy right healthy now. I may be in the hospital tomorrow. Okay, yes. None of us is promised for promise tomorrow. Anthony Davis is going injury. You didn't predict that because on Friday I was giving you a pass. Not that you needed it. Not that I give out the passes, but I was giving you a pass for that Phoenix pick because I'm like it shouldn't count because Chris Paul looked compromised yet again in the playoffs. His entire yeah, career it, has been co-authored by that's bad luck. It. That's that's all. So now Chris Paul look. Said Chris Paul's coach was gonna sit him. Monty Williams was like, "I'm gonna sit you." He was like, "Hell no!" And he came back and looked like Chris right. Paul. This is unpredictable. So for you to say, "I told you so," that the Lakers were not gonna be healthy, 
how what evidence was supported that in games two and three? What Until evidence supports Anthony Davis it? Pulled his groin in Mike, game four. Mike, oh, Mike, what evidence supports it? I'm telling you, LeBron James, he hasn't missed a game. LeBron James is not healthy. LeBron James is not healthy. What evidence supports it? He's well, not 100%. He missed, and there's a difference. He's not. There's a difference. Okay. All right. LeBron, LeBron James is not himself. And he's so good that 85% of LeBron James is still better than most of the league. Okay. 85% of okay. LeBron James is a top 10 player. He's so good that he can okay. be compromised and still play at a high level. But yep. oh, what's my evidence? A a Anthony Davis, the regular season is my evidence. That's my evidence. The regular season, these guys aren't right. They didn't just get right because the playoffs started. See, I, I think that's that's my problem. You, Michael, but I don't this, even know what we're arguing about my, right now. In game one, Anthony Davis didn't show up. In games two and three, he looked like the dude from the bubble. In games two and three. He did. And you were con you, you all but conceded the series on Friday. I didn't and then he got the hurt. Series. I said, ooh. I said, all but. I qualified. I said, all but. I said, all but conceded. And he, all but. I said all but conceded and the reason you all but conceded was because Chris at the top on Friday Chris Paul was hurt and the Lakers were not they might not have been 100% but their guys were available and Anthony Davis was dominating and LeBron was good enough now LeBron has to be brilliant and here's where I do agree with you on he may not be able to summon that tonight he may not be able to summon at this age and because he's only 85 or 90% by your estimation. He might, might not be able to summon his first 30 point game since March. So you're right. The Lakers may never get right. It may not be their year. I hear you, right? I'm just I'm just that still I'm may, just quibbling that may be enough with with the with the but, recency confirmation bias. If that's a thing, it's not, <laughs> that's it's, all not I'm saying. it's not that it's not it's not what well, well, we're quibbling over something that I, I'm not saying it's not I'm not basing this as on usual, something semantics. that just happened. As usual, again, as usual, we're coming over semantics. Okay, well, Let, I'm just telling let's you. Let's make sure this so, doesn't so devolve into an analytics conversation. <laughs> All right, it won't. I'm just saying, <laughs> just so we're clear. <laughs> just so we're clear on this. Coming into the postseason, even though mm -hmm. Anthony Davis was slated to play in game one and LeBron James in game one, I wasn't buying it is what I'm trying to tell you. Just because it's time for the playoffs to start doesn't mean LeBron James's ankle is great and Anthony Davis is ready to go. I never bought it. And so, yes, he had a bad game one, not okay. because he was injured. He wasn't into the game, whatever. He had a great game two and three, not because he suddenly got healthy. He had 30. And, 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 and at, at the end of at the okay. end of game three, he got hurt. He was hurt at the end of game three. He didn't get hurt in game four. He got hurt in the end of game three and had a different injury. In game four, so he sustained so, okay. two injuries. So if you, in four so games. If, if 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 in your spare time you're not if you're if, if in your spare time from writing books you're also a doctor, I, I, that's great. I'm so not if, a we're, if we're having a medical conversation, no, 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 and that, that wasn't sarcasm. No, that wasn't sarcasm. That was sarcasm, but I'm actually understanding what you're saying. It was sarcasm to some extent, but here's what I'm getting at: if you're suggesting that a Anthony Davis might just be, I'm gonna I'm use the B word, he may just be brittle. Okay, if he may Ooh. just be injury Ooh. prone, I guess this may be what Anthony Davis is. If that's if, if that's what it is, if you're saying that or if you're saying since it's all connected and his physiology is just off in general this year when it comes to one injury begetting another. Okay, and I'll give you that. Year. But nobody was talking about Anthony Davis's injuries when he was putting up 34 in game two and three. That's right. They were talking about That's how right. he didn't uh, show me, up in game one and responded so you know. like a champion does in game two and three. So those are two. We, we're having parallel conversations is what I'm saying. I know if you, if you want to talk about the bad luck or him being brittle. That's fair. But we were having a completely. It was a completely different narrative around this series when we last talked about it. And Michael, that's what I was saying. I'll, I'll, I'll pivot to my larger point. You can bring it back, do whatever you want with it. When I made a note to self that it's a series stupid, I was saying, yeah, I should have better known better. Like Antoine Rockamora, I should have better known better than to call a series. I've been doing this long enough. I've been doing I've been doing this talk daily talk show thing long enough to know better than to call a series after two or three games, even if that series right. involves the Clippers. Because these are not just the playoffs are just a second season. Each of these series is its own mini season. And what I made the mistake right. of doing specifically with the Clippers 
is I made the mistake of not allowing Ty Lue to do his job, which is adjust, which is what all these teams do from game to game is adjust. And, and I'll get into the specifics of the Clippers adjustments in a moment. It starts with their stars balling out the last two games. And of course, the aforementioned Luka Doncic injury. So on Friday, you and I were getting jokes off about the Clippers on Friday. Jokes right. off about the Clippers and recognizing, wow, the Lakers, hey, they're back. This was on Friday. And thanks to Luka, who got hurt in game three, the fact that Luka can't look left. Now the Clippers are in control of their series, or so it seems. I don't want to make the same mistake twice. And meanwhile, the Lakers look like they're in trouble because they're down one of their two top five players. So that's why I said that's why that was a, that was why I said note to self. It's a series, stupid. Let the series play out before you just say, "Oh, this is a wrap. It's over." Like a lot of times, well, these things can turn on an injury or an adjustment just like that. Well, I'm going to tell you this. Uh, I don't want to put, and I'm, I'm being dead, dead serious on this. <clears throat> I don't want to put any kind of negativity on Anthony Davis's injuries. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to call him a name. I don't want to call him brittle. I don't want to say anything about Anthony. I wasn't Davis a name, by the way. I didn't mean to be. I, I, that wasn't. I didn't mean to be insulting. I didn't mean to insult I, I know, him. I'm not saying you're doing that. Did that come off as I, an insult? I know I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not saying that you're yeah. doing that, but I'm just saying I don't want to put any kind. I want to put a spin on it, like, oh, Anthony Davis, here we go, here we go again, um, because I appreciated Anth Anthony Davis's honest self-assessment when he talked about. Remember this at the beginning of the season? Why did he sign that contract? And he said he signed the contract extension because he gets hurt. He said that about himself. I know yeah, I, I get did. hurt. He I didn't did want to go that. into a season. He did say that. He and did so say that. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. Look, sometimes it's just things just happen to certain guys and some of and some of those guys injured guys. Some of them have been some of my favorite players <laughs> over the years. Mm -hmm. I, I love watching Gronk. Every time Gronk would go over the middle, I'd say go down. Go down. You're about to get hurt. <laughs> he just got hurt. I love watching him. I love back in the day. I love uh, for, for Philly, the Boston, the Boston Strangler, Andrew Tony. I love watching Andrew Tony. Brother had bad feet. Like, oh man, Andrew. I hope like take him out, Billy Cunningham. Take him out, give him some rest, so I can see him. I like, I like, you know, the, the Jets used to have this running back. Remember this cat, Freeman McNeil. Freeman McNeil, of running course. back. He used to average like, he, he was great when he was out there. I love watching him, but he always got mm -hmm. hurt, and so. When I went into the playoffs looking at Anthony Davis and looking at the season that he had, I said, Yeah, well, people saying, Well, if the Lakers stay healthy, you can't. I just know I never looked at it. I never look at it that way, and I never will with him. Last That's, year, that actually, did that actually should go without saying. He got hurt. We should probably but retire with guys that phrase. like that. But no, height, it's yeah. heightened with certain players. I, I, I'm not even thinking about that sure. with Brooklyn. I'm not thinking about that with Milwaukee, even though they lost uh, uh, the one of the starting guards. But with Anthony Davis, you do. You think about guys who have that history, who have a history of it, and it just once you have a history, you're seven, eight years into the league. That's pretty much who you are. Yeah. And you got to be able to manage. I would just say it. though, the phrase, the phrase "if healthy" should probably be retired. You know, I mean, that's, you know, in, in life, we say God willing and the creek don't rise. I mean, you know, no, none of us is promised tomorrow in, in sports. We should that that goes that really does go without saying if healthy, you yeah. know, that's always, uh, you know, something that's kind of stating the obvious. But my only point is that how quickly things can change in a matter of days. Now, listen, first of all, Who you got tonight, all the way. jokes. I'm giving all the credit, huh? Who you got tonight? What's that? Game? Who do you got tonight? Lakers, Suns. Pivotal game five. Michael, the winner of sorry, this game I was going to make a point. I'll make probably it. Probably wins I'll come the back. series. Thank probably. you, Magic Johnson. Um, I will. Yes. Okay, so let me um, let me say it like this. I, I get LeBron's compromised. Relatively speaking, I get that 
obviously they're a different team without Anthony Davis, but they're not a bad team without Anthony Davis. I get that there's a first time for everything. But LeBron ain't losing in the first round and he ain't losing tonight. LeBron loves narratives. He loves storylines. He loves opportunities to ride to the rescue. I mentioned he had a 30 point game since March 18th. I believe it is. I think tomorrow you're second guessing your definitive statement that LeBron ain't healthy because I think he looks at tonight and they got enough of a supporting cast they, they, nobody replaces Anthony Davis, but they got enough pieces right to figure something out to, to, to figure it out. I, I, I think it's the Lakers. I think the Lakers went tonight. I still think they win this series. I, I, I believe LeBron loses the first round series. I think that's one of the things he, he gets to say once he retires. I never lost the first round series. I think that's important to him as it should be. I think it's important to him to not go out like this, but if they do, I'll just say this real quick. Props to Ty Lue. Props. This was the point I was gonna make. Props to Ty Lue, because him going small, inserting Nicholas Batum in the starting lineup, getting Patrick Beverly up out of there, and getting Reggie Jackson in the starting lineup. I mean, mm -hmm. Dallas has no answers for it. In addition to the fact that um, that that Luca is hurt. But let me just point this out, Michael. Over the last two games, Kawhi Leonard and Paul George have combined for 114 points on 62% shooting. So the coach adjusted and the stars stepped up and stars. I'll wrap it up by saying this. There is a remote possibility now that on Friday we lamented the fact that we've never seen Lakers Clippers in the playoffs and you know I've been going at the Clippers for allegedly avoiding the Lakers on their side of the bracket. There is a possibility that it could be the Lakers not holding up their end of the bargain and not the Clippers. The Clippers may survive in advance and go on to meet what looks like it's going to be the Jazz. And it might be the Lakers that actually bow out early and not the Clippers the way we've always expected and the way it looked like, what, 72 hours ago? So just, just a crazy turn right. of events. Just a crazy turn of events. And I'll leave it there. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.